Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, you know that I'm a fan of all these auto EQ plugins like TOT or Ghoul Force or um, DSEQ3, for instance, that automatically reduce the resonances in your mix down of your audio material. And I came across another plugin that I wasn't aware of that, uh, that it exists and it's called Unfilter by Synaptic. And Synaptic sent me over some licenses to some of their products um, for free. So that's just as a disclaimer. And I tried out this unfilter and I have to say it works pretty well. And I'm going to show you in this video how it works and maybe if it's something for you, because at the moment it's at sale, you can get it basically for a cheaper price. Um, and you know, all these synaptic uh, plugins are pretty expensive, but they also uh, have a nice quality to it. So uh, let's dive in and I show you how it works. So here we are in Bitwig Studio. I have here a classic drum loop on this track and I show you how this sounds. And you know, most of these classic drum loops are pretty dull or not really well recorded or sampled. And when you want to use it in a modern production, you probably want to layer it with maybe synthetic drums or other samples and you need more of like a balanced frequency um, distribution of this uh, um, drum loop. So we can use your unfilter for this. Um, this is how it looks like. And now we just press play and let the plugin analyze the signal. And because we have your decay setting at one, as you can see here, the description says sets time length of the learning memory at maximum value, nothing is ever forgotten. So everything that you feed now into this plugin goes into the analyzing section and will be, um, yeah, showed in the transfer function. So let's. So the transfer function basically shows that we have a lot of content here in the low end and this will then be countered by the plugin itself when we increase here the intensity slider. This is obviously too much. So this is without. with so you can hear the difference pretty clearly um, there's also here this waiting slider which kind of um, switches between zero which means we have uh, a curve of pink noise or the reference curve is pink noise and we can go here to one, which then applies the curve of the Fletcher Munson curve, which is more or less the, um, yeah, the curve of our ears, how our ears uh, perceive different sounds at different loudness levels. You can look it up on Wikipedia to have a better explanation for this. But basically, um, this is technically flat at zero. And at one, we have more like, you know, how our ears perceive loudness better. So it's more like that you have the low end and the high end more pronounced and not so the middle. And you can see this also here in the output curve when I go down to zero from one. You can see here there's a small little gap and we have pronounced high end and low end here. When I go down to zero, it's gets pretty flat. If you go here down to in the negative range, we can amplify the problem, the problematic resonances basically, which can be also sometimes helpful when you want to maybe amplify the bass drum or, you know, the, the peaking resonances. So you maybe don't need to layer some synthetic drums to a classic drum break. You can just 
make a, a second version of this charm loop and go here with the unfilter, go to minus one and then layer it back together with the um, yeah, with the original sound. We have also your resolution where we can change the resolution of our uh, analyzing part, I think, and also your smoothing for the transfer function. In this example here, I have the unfiltered plugin on a whole track. So this is how the track sounds without unfilter. And now with And now I switch between bypass and unbypass. And here we have some kind of dubstep um, baseline, which has a lot of uh, upper harmonics and maybe it's also useful on this one. So let's analyze here this part. So here also unfilter can help to, you know, tame some of the frequencies of your bass um, overtones. You know, when you have a lot of distortion on there, maybe use an EQ to push certain frequencies. So this can help to even out the signal a bit more or better or easier. Um, there's also here a limiter in this plugin. So when some of these frequencies are pushing too hard, you push into a limiter. So you get always an, an audio signal out um, that that never goes beyond zero dB. So you can switch your delimiter off if you want to. And yeah, that's nice to know. And sometimes it's pretty helpful actually. So you have some kind of downbeat or, you know, a lo-fi track. I don't know what, what to call it, but there's a guitar in it. Maybe that that's, yeah, spreading some harmonics too much. So you can use unfilter here to tame the guitar a bit. So this is how it sounds originally. So the big question is now, is this better or worse than Gullforce or DSEQ or TOT? Um, I haven't tried it out for too long now, um, just one day basically. But I would say um, there are some differences in how it sounds. Um, I think you have to like the sound or you have to find the plugin with the right sound for, for you. So try out the demo version or the trial version, apply it to different signals or your usual uh, maybe songs or mix downs and try if you uh, find it useful for your workflow or for your sound. 
I, uh, I really like with this unfilter plugin that you have more control over how the processing is applied and how the analyzing part works. For instance, you have this decay setting and you can switch the learning process completely off if you want to. And um, also that you can dial in the Fletcher Munson curve and dial it out and go back to pink noise reference curve, something like this. This is um, pretty nice to have, but I have to play around more with it. I just want to show you this. Um, I know the plugin is pretty old. I think it's around for, uh, for 10 years or eight years or something like this, um, but it's still useful and it works and it's currently on sale so i want to show you this plugin uh, maybe try it out try the trial version and um, yeah see if it works for you um that's it for this video thanks for watching please leave a like if you like the video please leave a comment if you have some questions and i see you in the next video thanks for watching and bye